Hey friends, it's Mike that Helpful Dad again with another video for you on the topic of best streaming TV providers. You know, on our website and here on YouTube, we've got lots of videos to try to help you make the most informed decision about choosing the best streaming TV provider for you. And we've got many other videos on the topic, but today we're going to actually do a direct head to head comparison of AT&T TV Now versus Hulu with live TV. And we're going to compare the two across the spectrum of topics from the different channel packages, the price, to what premiums are available, etc., etc. It's a direct head to head comparison. And um, if this video is helpful for you, I would ask you to do me a favor. I'm going to ask this up front so I don't forget. And that is if you could please like the video with a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel so you get all of my videos. And of course, if it is helpful to share it with a friend, I would certainly appreciate it. It would help me to continue to make videos like this to help you. And so we're both helping each other. But enough about that. Let's move on and let's, let's start our discussion here. Okay, so we're going to compare again AT&T TV Now, that's certainly a mouthful, versus Hulu with live TV, not basic Hulu. Both of these are options if you were trying to get rid of cable TV and be able to stream TV online. You could choose either of those, and we're going to compare them. And we're going to actually compare them across this range of topics, from base package pricing to channel package options, local channel availability, etc., etc. Uh, this, this, this analysis done for all of them, from AT&T Now to Fubo, Hulu, all the way through YouTube TV. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can get access to all of those videos as well, too. But today, we're just talking about AT&T Now and Hulu. If you've narrowed, narrowed your search down to these two, then this video can help you. Okay, so first and foremost, um, from a base package pricing standpoint, with Hulu, it's very easy. There's only one option. It's around 60 channels, and it's $45 a month. These are an example of some of the channels, and you can see, um, you know, kind of what's here. Now, I would encourage you to make sure that these are the channels that you're interested in because even though Hulu is slightly less money, if it doesn't have the channels you want, then it's not going to make as much of a difference, right? AT&T now has a number of different packages. They have their two most popular packages, or at least the ones that they're pushing, are the Plus package, which is 45 channels for $50 a month, but you get HBO included, or the Max package, which is 60 channels for $70 a month. Now remember, Hulu was 60 for 45, so that's quite a big difference in price right there. But the difference is that with AT&T TV now, you can kind of customize, or at least you have more package options to choose from. So with the Plus package, you get HBO as a premium included, so there's no extra necessarily extra charge for that, and these are the channels that you would get. Now, if you really want to do yourself justice, one of the best things about streaming TV is you can kind of build a plan that is really perfect for your family. And if you go to my website, which is thathelpfuldad.com, you'll see I've got a lot of topics posted on this on this uh, topic of streaming TV. And if you want to see a video about all the different providers, that's here. If you want to get individual reviews, that's here. One of the things you'll also see is 10 things to know before you ditch cable TV. And one of the things that this tells you on this article, and again, this is all free on my website because I've already done this analysis for you and I'm trying to help you by putting it up here is it will tell you to make sure that you're going to get the channels that you want with the streaming service that you're interested in. And one of those is the local channels. Does the service offer good local channel availability? Well, the way to check that is to go to their website and find here on, on AT&T TV now it says check local and regional sports networks. If you click on that, you can then enter your zip code and you will see what local channels are available. So for me, in my area, I would get two ABCs, a CBS, CW, and then Fox. But I wouldn't get NBC. I would get my Fox Sun Sports, or my Fox Sports, so I could see my local sport uh, baseball covers that way. But I'd be missing NBC. Let's go to Hulu and check and see what Hulu has, where it says, view all channels in your area. With Hulu, entering my zip code. Let's see what they would give me. So they would give me ABC, both of those, CBS, Fox, The Sun Sports, and also NBC. So there I would be able to get the channels that I want, as well as some others as well too. 
And so I would encourage you before you make any final decisions, make sure you're checking it and don't go by just what it says on the main website page. Make sure you see what's available in your area with either of the services. So from a base package pricing standpoint, again, Hulu has one option. AT&T has six options. Let me show you the other ones. In addition to the Max and the Plus, there are some kind of some hidden ones, or at least not readily available. And they're under other packages. So they've got the entertainment package, and you can again see all the channels by clicking on the plus sign, and you can get a full comparison of what's there, right? They've got the choice package, extra ultimate, and then a, a, a kind of this max Spanish option here. So you can see here, I mean, AT&T now, if money is not a, an, uh, an issue for you and you don't mind paying more, AT&T now is going to give you a lot more options in terms of channels than Hulu with live TV. Unfortunately, you're paying a pretty hefty price for it. Remember, with either of these services, you still need the internet. So let's say it costs you $50 a month for internet and you have this extra plan here. I mean, with tax and everything, you're up to about $175, $200 with taxes. Now you're talking about just what you were spending with cable and internet alone. So the thing about AT&T TV now is it's actually a service that's not really less money than cable. It's just kind of a more of a way to stream TV online without having all the cable boxes. Um, but again, you would still need some way to stream that. So with either of these services, you would need uh, to do this with a smart TV app or with an Amazon Fire Stick or a Roku device or Apple TV. That's a topic for another video, but I'm just pointing that out to you. The takeaway with AT&T now is it's more flexible in terms of package options, but it's also you're going to pay for that. Okay, Local channel avail availability, I show you, it's going to depend on your area. In my area, it's good, not great. Other options, we're going to compare the DVR. The DVR with AT&T now, I'm a former customer when it was used to be called DirecTV now. The DVR sucks, okay? It only gives you 20 hours as an option, and it only stores it for up to 30 days. Hulu gives you 50 hours as the basic option with no necessarily no storage limits until you run out of space. You can do an add-on and pay a little extra in terms of these add-ons here. See right here where it says add-ons? One of the add-ons is their enhanced cloud DVR, and you can get um, 200 hours right there. If we go to my overall spreadsheet, let me see if I have the cost recorded for that here. I don't have the exact one written down. I think it's about six or nine dollars for that. To be honest with you, I don't really use the DVRs that much, um, but if that's important to you, then Hulu would be the, the winner in that capacity. Uh, getting back to our verses here, number of streams. So what this means is how many people in your household can be watching on on this streaming service at one time. So in other words, on with AT&T now, you're going to get, for the price of the base package, you're going to get two streams. So two people could watch. Or you could pay, I think it's like $5 extra, and you can get three streams. So three people could watch. Hulu, for the $45, you get two streams. Or you could do an add-on which would give you unlimited screens at home or up to three screens while you're out of the house. Okay. And then next is premium channels. Now here's one of the ways that, that um, AT&T now wins. The premium channel availability is awesome. Where AT&T TV now shines in terms of premium. So again, if you're choosing one of the two basic plans, HBO is included. If you go to, where is the other one here? If you go to the Max plan, you get HBO and Cinemax included. If you just have one of the other packages that don't have HBO included, you can then add HBO, Showtime, Stars, or Cinemax. It's $11 a month each. Okay, Epix is also available. That's $6 a month. And they have some movie pack package options for $5 a month. Now, on Hulu, the options are as follows. HBO, which is $15 a month. Cinemax is 10, Showtime is 11, and Stars is 8.99. Those are your really only premium options, okay? Now there are some other add-ons that I'll talk about in a moment, but that's from the premium standpoint. So if we go back over here, I'm going to give the victory on this side to AT&T now. Sports programming, it's good for both, not great. Uh, on my website, uh, one of the things, if you if you go to my website and you're interested in this topic, you can go to the top of my very homepage and you'll see you can sign up to get my um, 
my emails that get sent out weekly for free and you'll get a bunch of free downloads that you can pick what you're interested in and one of those is this channel comparison spreadsheet that's what we're looking at here that's what this is here if you if that's helpful to you you can have it just go to my website and sign up for my email list and you can get it um, but in terms of this particular topic here sports programming uh, when I talk about sports, I'm talking about do you, can you get your local channels, and we already looked at that, and then do they have things like NFL Network, MLB, you know, that sort of thing right here. In order to determine all that, you'd have to go into the, see what channels are available, see all the channels, and then you'd have to go down and find the network you're interested in, or you can just go to my cord cutting guide. So let's say you wanted to know if they had NFL Network. So NFL Network for, let's see here. NFL Network is not available on AT&T now, nor is the NFL Red Zone. That's a problem if you're interested in that particular topic. And unfortunately, Hulu doesn't have either of those either. So NFL fans are not going to be too happy with um, AT&T TV now, which is really interesting because DirecTV Now, the home of the NFL Sunday ticket, is owned by AT&T. You'd think they have some sort of better agreement. And DirecTV Now used to have... Uh, at least one of these networks and they don't anymore so depending on what you're interested in again you're gonna to have to look and see so example there's NBA League Pass or NBA TV it is available on DirecTV now with those real high price plans it's not available on Hulu at all um, again do you want the NBC Sports Network you know that is available on both so you gotta gotta kind of compare the, the bottom line takeaway from a sports standpoint both of those are good, and I say good because they have decent local coverage. And they're also going to have, uh, I mean, obviously I forgot about ESPN. Uh, in terms of the ESPN availability here, the basic ESPNs 1 and 2, as well as ESPN News, are sometimes available on AT&T, depending on the plan that you have. And ESPN News and the basic ESPNs are available on Hulu, and they even have some extra ones as well, too, as well as the SEC Network and ESPNU. <coughs> so there are some options there, and I consider that to be pretty good in the cord-cutting world for sports programming, um, but not great like some of the other ones, like, say, a Fubo or even Sling would have. Uh, from a kid's programming standpoint, it's good with Hulu, you'll see there from the channels you can see things like the Disney Channel, Disney Junior, Cartoon Network and Boomerang those are good but what's missing is Nick Junior whereas with AT&T now um, just going back to my kids programming section you're gonna actually see they have the option for Boomerang, Cartoon Network all the Disney's and I believe Nick Jr. is here and Nick Jr. is an option on some of them as well too so I'm gonna cons and really to be honest with you if you go through this analysis you'll find out that AT&T now has some of the best kids programming uh, but it comes at a price you know also pretty good on this is Philo believe it or not which is a, a kind of a different um, topic for another day but 57 channels for $20 Make sure you read my review on Philo because if you're interested in kids coverage, that's a great way to get some kids coverage. So going back here, we're looking now at comedy programming. It's pretty good on on AT&T now, but limited on Hulu. Hulu, um, it doesn't have a lot of comedy coverage. Whereas with AT&T now, again, you can already see Comedy Central and some other ones. If you go back to my cord cutting chart, Comedy Central is available as well as some Comedy TV on some of their higher priced options. Okay, The next one, and let me uh, change this view here to freeze the first row. Okay, so the next one is news programming. Again, it's going to be limited because you only have that one package on Hulu. It is kind of limited from a news standpoint. You'll get your local news, probably not a lot of other news other than the major outlets like you know Fox News Business and uh, CNN and things like that. Uh, but uh, on AT&T now, they have actually some more options. If you would go through this list, you're going to see more news options. And again, on my, I keep going back to this cord cutting chart because I've already done this analysis. It's, it's actually very helpful to have it. But 
along this list here on the left hand side you're gonna see a lot of more news options as far as what you have compared to what's available on Hulu because again they're just more package options okay we don't have to make this more complicated than it is. I know I'm making it a lot more complicated and I apologize about that regard. Lifestyle programming, that's like additional networks, HGTV, um, um, Animal Planet, you know, just different things that people might be interested in, Bravo. I would come over here to Hulu and see what's of interest to you and see if it has the ones that you want. And remember on AT&T now, you can kind of customize that. The next one is international programming. With Hulu, it's very limited, the, um, Spanish networks. But AT&T now, it, I already showed you it had, that, um, it had that plan that was the optimal mass plan, 90 channels with a lot of, of Spanish options. But in addition to that, AT&T now actually has fantastic international programming. If you go down here, International TV, and learn more, you get taken to another portion of the website that's all about international options. And again, I've already done this analysis here for you. And the bottom line is it comes down to multiple Spanish packages, either as add-ons or a whole other package. But they also have Brazilian, Korean, Vietnamese as well, too. And you can go to that portion of the website that I showed you, the international option, and you can look at all of the international packages that are available. So that's going to be a clear victory for AT&T now there. Finally, the free trial. Both of these have free trials that are seven days, and you can come and work. It's already advertising, start your free trial. Same thing on uh, AT&T now. They give various free trial options as well, too. And they, they vary. Usually it's seven days. Sometimes it's more. And you can check that out as well, too, in terms of what's what's of interest to you. If, if it was me and I was trying to decide between these two, the first thing I would do is I would go to my website and I would get that cord cutting spreadsheet. And I'd also read that article, 10 Things to Consider Before You Cut the Cord, so that it can you can get all the wisdom of, if you put the timing up front, this seems like a complicated process, but it's really not. Look, I'm almost 50 years old. I did all of this stuff. I put everything I learned on my website so you don't have to spend all the time trying to figure it out. It's there for you. Get that cord cutting spreadsheet. Look and compare the different options that are available. And then watch my videos. And then you're going to find which service is best for you. If the, web, if the video is helpful for you, please, again, give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel so you get my next video as well, too. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.